this is um, Anselm Seisun Gutsar, and I'm here with uh, Tendai. Hey. Uh, yeah, so if most of you know Tendai. Tendai is an author. And, um, and we're going to be talking, um, talking to him about African literature. Yeah. Uh, just general like that. So, um, Tendai, could just give us um, what's your insight, what's your understanding of African literature right now? Where do you think it is going to? literature right now is doing like new innovative exciting things I mean uh, the Western novel certainly has been around for a while so there's this energy and this vibe from the African novel that you simply won't get anywhere else but the stuff for me that's really exciting now is stuff that's happening in genre so we're talking sci-fi not sci-fi let's call it speculative fiction because then you have cry you have um, your hardcore science fiction you have fantasy you have um, traditional belief, realism, you have magic realism and all those components thrown in there. So you, that you have stuff happening in crime and you have also got stuff happening in, in romance. Um, so I think the genre stuff for me is where the most interesting things are happening outside of the mainstream. I'm sort of like at the stage where I believe that sooner or later, I mean, all these genres that we're talking about, um, sort of like western style genres, but I think in my lifetime, Sooner or later, there will just be a new African genre that we just haven't seen coming yet. And that's my prediction. You can give 10% to my church anytime. That's a good <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Now, um, what, do you, what would you see, what, what would you want to see us do in um, the area of um, developing African literature? I mean, there's already a, a lot of great things happening. I mean, we're at Ake, which is like the best literary festival in the world, Banan, and I've been to quite a few. And you know, you have these workshops that are happening, you have these new magazines like Ominana in Science Fiction, or Avrida, or, um, um, Christ, sorry, I freeze sometimes because there's a lot of good stuff, Aerodrome in South Africa, or the Kalahari Review, I mean, there's so many good things happening. So. I wouldn't prescribe anything because I think for literature to thrive, it has to be these organic developments happening at ground level. Uh, there's already a lot of great stuff, but um, I do hope that the writers that are working will be just daring and innovative and do fresh stuff that we haven't seen before. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so thank you very much. But please, just before we go, just tell us um, your book, um, about your book and... Um, well, I'll tell you about the newest one, which is The Maestro, The Magistrate, and The Mathematician, which is about uh, three Zimbabwean men who live in Edinburgh, which is where I live now. And they're very different stories. It's, it's told in three different styles. And it's a novel about illusions, about love, about music, about loss. Uh, just fucking read it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. So thank you, people, for watching. Um, I will get around Tendai anytime and get some words from him anytime. So thank you very much. Who's bombing us? All right, so thank you. That'll be all for now. Thank you, Tendai. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>